one, today we're going to be going over lip slurs, what they are, and how to make one on our instrument. So a lip slur is a way that we can get to a different note or a different partial on our instrument without pushing any buttons or moving our slide. It's all created with our lips and our air. So on our instrument, we have what's called a harmonic series. These are all the notes that we can naturally play without pushing buttons or moving our slide. And we're gonna go over the three-step process in order to create that lip slur that's gonna get us to those different notes. So follow along. The first step in our combination lock is gonna be instantly faster air. So I'm gonna start my C, nice steady air shape, and then after a little while, I'm just gonna blow my air so much faster. Remember, the goal on a lip slur is we're trying to change to a different note. This next note is gonna be higher than our C. So it might sound something like this. If I start with my steady shape. Did you hear how the pitch changed to something higher? That is a lip slur. If you didn't change pitch, it could also sound something like this. It got a little bit louder, but it was still just a C. That means you have to push even faster air and we have to add those other two steps. But first, let's all try instantly faster air together. So here we go, horns come up. Remember, we're gonna have a nice steady C and then we're gonna faster air. Here we go, breathe in. Cool, let's try that one again. Watch my hand, I'll show low for the C and then when we have to do instantly faster air, my hand will go up. Try it again, horns come up. Ready, breathe in. Awesome, so that is the first step of our combination lock. We still got two more. Step number two is gonna be your lips touching slightly closer together. So remember we have our embouchure, we have our tall hole right in the center, that aperture, that is the hole. We're gonna make that hole just a little bit smaller. This is kind of like when you're using a hose. Remember you're watering your, your plants, as soon as you put that thumb over half of the, the hose, what happens to the water? It shoots out super fast. That's gonna be the same thing that happens when we close our lips just a little bit. That air is gonna come out even faster and it's gonna hopefully create that lip slur. Here we go, let's try it. This time we're doing instantly faster air and our lips are coming closer together. Here we go. Horns come up. Start with our C. Ready, breathe in. Awesome, so hopefully you got your slur this time, if not, guess what? There's still one more step we gotta do. The last step is gonna be to raise the back of our tongue. We're gonna do that by thinking in our head. Ah, Everybody try that with me. We're, I'm saying ah, e. Ready? One, two, ready and go. Ah, Did you feel your tongue move? It should have when you go from ah, to E, your tongue raises inside of your mouth. That's what we need to think of when we're trying to play our lip slur. So again, let's try doing a lip slur all together. Here we go. This time we're doing all three. One is instantly faster air. Two, our lips come closer together. And three, we're thinking ah e. That tongue is raising in the back of our mouth. Here we go, horns come up. 50-50, it's on your lips. Here we go, breathe in. Did you hear the ah e and that tongue raising? Let's try it a couple more times. These are our lip slurs. Horns come up, breathe in. Now, one thing that's super, super important about our lip slurs, Remember how we always are talking about we need to articulate the first of every note that comes out. It needs to start with your tongue. Now this time, that first note, our C, is still gonna 
start with the tongue. So we're thinking to, but this time when we do the lip slur, are we tonguing? Because all, it's not in our combination lock. The only thing we're doing is faster air, closer lips, ah, e. So the tongue doesn't get in the way, doesn't touch the back of those teeth for that second note. Try it with me. Horns come up. Ready? Breathe in. Cool. I want to try it with the metronome this time. We're going to do two beats on the lower notes, which is C. And then on that third beat, so right when you hear that click, is when we're going to shift up to the, the higher pitch. And this is going to be our G. It's in the staff second line. So let's try it with the metronome. I'll demonstrate it first. One, two, ready? Did you hear how the note changed right on beat three? Here's what I don't want to hear. One, two, ready? So that time, what I did is I slowly increased the speed of my air, and it was kind of just like a upward the whole way. Remember, it has to be instantly faster on beat three. So it's kind of like steps. C is on this step, and then G, it jumps up immediately. So here we go. Try it with me this time. And horn comes up, tap your foot. One, two, ready. Try it again. One, two, ready. And relax. So you want to make sure that that G, it's going to be instantly faster air, but you also don't want it to sound like it's a blatty, blasty sound. If it sounds something like this, that might be just a little bit too much air. So just make sure it's fast air, but it's not too much. Here's what that slur would look like on our staff. So the first note that we're playing, as you know, is our C. And that is below the staff. It's on that first ledger line below the staff. That is our open C. And then we're going to slur up to the G, which is on that second line. Now, normally, if we saw these two notes on the staff, we would articulate both of them because they're two new notes. So we would go two, two. But the way that we know that it's a slur is there's a very special marking that goes underneath them. It's kind of like a curvy line and it connects both of these two notes. So when we see this curved line, it's called a slur, which means that we're gonna slur those two notes together. That first note, however, we are still gonna articulate with our tongue. So we're still gonna say two on the first one, but that second note, our G, we're gonna get there by using our faster air, closing our lips just a little bit, and ah, e, raising the back of the tongue. So that's kind of what it looks like on the staff. Let's try it one more time. Horn comes up. One, two, ready. Again, one, two, ready. And relax. So keep working on your lip slurs. Remember, lip slurs get us to different notes on our instrument's harmonic series. And in order to get a lip slur, we have to do our three steps. Combination lock. Number one, instantly faster air. Number two, lips touch closer together. And number three, the back of the tongue raises up. And in our mind, we're thinking, ah, If you use these three steps to do your lip slurs, you'll master them in no time. Happy practicing.